not only am I an indigenous woman, I have friends and family that are indigenous women. And it's the, this epidemic of violence towards them. I don't want that for them. So this helps spread awareness and helps people take action for what's going on. It's estimated that there are 4,200 unsolved cases of missing and murdered indigenous people in the U.S. Now, an art project in Wisconsin is bringing light to their stories. The community here is um, more diverse than most, and we have a huge Native American population. We need to share the stories of those that we've lost in hopes to prevent it happening from other people. Canadian artist Cheryl Ring developed the Heart Spirits Project. The original art exhibit was displayed at the Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport in 2022. It used 1,200 clay hearts, handmade by community members, in a workshop setting. Each heart represented a missing or murdered indigenous woman or girl. It started as a seed, as an idea in my head. I felt frustrated with the national inquiry into the missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. There were relatives and families that, who needed to speak their truth, and it served that purpose. At Black River Falls High School, teachers, students, and community members formed a committee to spread awareness of the Heart Spirits Project and extend it into their own community. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers attended one of the workshops. The event highlighted one of his budget priorities, addressing violence against Indigenous people. It's really important. We have a task force on Indigenous uh, women and girls. One of their recommendations has been to create a, a special office in, this, in state government. It's something that uh, is really important to me personally. I've been in very active uh, participant working with the uh, 11 tribal nations in the state of Wisconsin. And I believe in their sovereignty and I believe that uh, uh, we have to do more to make sure that those tribal nations thrive. As far as women have been, and girls that have been missing or have been murdered, um, I just think it's, uh, it's important for the state to take a stand on this. McCaskey emphasizes that this project and the attention it draws is just the beginning. We have a lot more work as a committee. I think that we have some work to do in educating um, staff here at the school, but also community members about how we can prevent human trafficking, um, dealing with our indigenous population. For the PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, I'm Kat Clock in Block River Falls, Wisconsin.